This video is called Select and Replace All Your Troubles Away, and it goes with Chapter 5 of Google SketchUp for Dummies. Okay, this video outlines a pretty simple little trick that involves selecting all instances of a component that you've made and then replacing all those instances, or maybe even just some of those instances, with um, instances of another component that you choose. So to demonstrate this, I'm just going to make a very simple little uh, box here. I'm into making boxes as very simple demonstrations. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump some windows in there. So let's um, just here in my default architecture components library, I get to the components dialog box by going to window and then components right there. So I've already done that and I've got the components dialog box open. And uh, the default set here comes with some windows. So let's just kind of drop this. This is it's a window double hung 35 by 63. That's fine for our purposes. Now, this is a great big building, obviously. So cool. Uh, what I've done is I've just stuck that building there. And let's just close the components dialog box so we can see what's going on. What I'm going to do is just use the move tool and I'm going to move uh, a whole bunch of copies of this. So what I'm going to do is click on this. Actually, what I'm going to do is hold down uh, or just click Control to tell SketchUp that I'm trying to make copies. Now, if I were on a Mac, I would hit Option instead of Control, but Control on a PC, Option on a Mac. And then I'm going to click here, move away that copy of the window that I liked. And then in this case, I'm just going to type in the number of copies that I would like to have total. Um, let's say that's going to be 10. 10. And then I'm going to hit uh, Divide, which is the forward slash. There we go. So slash, just like that, and enter. And now I've got 10 copies of that window in my model, just like that. I think, actually, that this is far too big a model for these windows. So let's let's kind of shrink this thing down. Let's kind of get that down. Uh, I'm going to take all this. Let's make this more of a train station. Oops. Let's select all this stuff and then use the Move tool to just move it on down, something like that. Okay, cool. We'll kind of move this up and use the offset tool to put a little parapet on top of this thing. Give it a measure of believability, something like that. Okay, what I've got is a whole bunch of instances of this window, right? And they're all in my model, and um, they're every place. And I've got how many of them? Should have 11, right? Something like that. Let's try. Let's just select them like that and go up to Components. I'm going to hit in my Components menu or uh, dialog box, I'm going to hit this little Home in model icon. When I hit that, it's going to tell me which components I have in my model. And actually, uh, I have this component in my model. And I'm going to go to statistics here, and it's going to tell me what the statistics are for that model. So this model, this, uh, this little window, has 99 edges in it. It's got 36 faces. Um, there are two subcomponents within that component, but I don't need to know really any of this stuff right now. Uh, if I go to components there, it's going to tell me which components are inside the component. There's a lower sash and an upper sash. But that's all kind of like too much information right now. I don't really care. I'm just going to go to select. And it's right here. I see that this is the only window I have in my in my model. All right. What I can do, though, is I'm going to right-click on this window right here in my in my in-model component library. And I'm going to say select instances. And when I do that, Notice all 11 instances of that window become selected. Now what I'm going to do is go and find another um, another component to replace that with. And maybe I'm going to do something within the transportation library. Because instead of having these be windows, I'd like them to be, uh, I don't know, motorcycles? How's that? So what I did is I chose the motorcycle. They didn't change. What I got is a motorcycle on the tip of my cursor. I didn't need that. What I need to do is right-click on that motorcycle and choose Replace Selected. And when I do that, what I got is 11 motorcycles all lined up along the edge of the building, just like that. Okay, so pretty simple. Going back a step, what I was going to do is go to this in-model library, right-click on this, say Select Instances, and then go and find a component that I'd like to replace all of these windows with. I'm going to right click on that component and say replace selected and now I've got 11 park benches and it's as simple as that. That is the end of this video for chapter 5 in Google SketchUp for Dummies. Select and replace all your troubles away.